Hi, I'm former Republican State Senator Phil Harriman. This is my colleague, former Democratic State Senator Ethan Strimling. Today we want to talk about the decision by the Supreme Court declaring that it is unconstitutional to have buffer zone around women reproductive rights clinics. Ethan, what do we do now? Well, isn't it ironic that that's a decision they made when they have this huge buffer zone around the Supreme Court. Of course, they want to make sure that they're not harassed on their way into their job, but other people who are going in, of course, they right. created this buffer zone. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure that I know the exact answer, but number one, the council has got to not punt this decision. They need to work to try to come up with another answer to protect women's constitutional right to abortion and reproductive services. What about you? If you're on the council, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to advocate for family planning organizations to use their resources to buy private property so that they can establish their own buffer zone upon which people cannot cross to uh, exercise their free speech rights. Yeah, but uh, if you're going down that road, and I get it, that's sort of a classic Republican response, but if you go down that road, you're basically saying, okay, this stuff's probably going to have to move out of the city of Portland, and so all the women that are right here in downtown that need these services aren't going to get them. What's your answer to them? Well, there are a lot of people in rural Maine who have to come to, say, the city of Portland to receive services. So to me, it's about how do we give women the right to have these services in a constitutionally appropriate way. And the Supreme Court has said, you can't set up these buffer zones. So my response is, what is the family planning organization is going to do to create those zones, if you will, by owning this property privately. I just don't think you can put all the responsibility on the clinics themselves. The public has a role to play, whether that's increased police protection sure. or, or whether it's the community coming together, whether it's subsidizing to make sure that people can get to these clinics outside. I just don't think we can pump the decision to the private sector alone.